Hi guys and welcome back. In today's video we are filming in London. We're going to be sharing with you a day in the life of an interior design team. You're going to see the installation happening with Brett and Vanessa and just a little bit of mooching around Chelsea with me and Ollie. So I hope you enjoy it. We are at our Chelsea Townhouse project and we are finally installing and the clients are moving in in about one week. So uh, we had some furniture delivered yesterday, all of the window treatments are going up and we're doing some art hanging today. So this is the very special guest Lou. Uh, we custom designed this wallpaper based on an art deco motif that the client loved. And we added all these um, kind of antique brass and gold elements. And as you'll see in a bit, <laughs> there's a niche above the toilet. And that way we can put some uh, sculpture and just really make this space feel special for when your guests come in. Okay, well, when you're standing all day doing an install, you've got to have the proper footwear. And so you've got to have your install slippers. <laughs> But well, well, you can appreciate the slippers, what's below is the more important part. Um, we've done this amazing custom runner rug with a Greek key detail and stair rods and bronze to pick up all the bronze accents and then painted the treads and the risers in contrasting colors. So it really just makes that, elevates the staircase. And then it leads you into this amazing kitchen. <laughs> Um, with kind of a green and black marble, big, massive island with curved detailing. And we wanted to kind of mix up the materials in here. So having the um, kind of brushed wood finish uh, with glass doors on some of the cabinets so you can display your more treasured pieces and then have tons of other storage to hide everything else away. And then if we want to move down here, where the um, utility room used to be, we were able to open the space up. You've got, um, still a work in progress, but a really great snug room. We've got the orange velvet sofa, some really special framed Hermes scarves. Um, and then this is little tuck away homework area that still is not finished, so I won't open the doors, but they completely go back. And it's got an area for a desk and a printer and lots of storage for toys, so yeah. Yeah, for this kitchen, we've got totally fitted out, really big, deep sink. We've done an integrated cooktop. Um, and because we couldn't get proper ventilation, uh, this is a really powerful cooktop that allows you to vent through the cooktop itself. So that's great. And then this area here will be the kind of dining area. We've got this custom made banquette. Um, we're gonna have a beautiful oval table here and green leather dining chairs with a fantastic chandelier once it goes in. Um, so yeah, it'll be kind of like the place where the family eats and hangs out and yeah, we love it. Yeah. This is the client's artwork and we thought it would work perfectly above the mantle, so it's getting hung today. And it's funny because we did a 3D rendered elevation for this space. And when Sophie posted it on Instagram, the amount of comments saying, what is that Smurf artwork? So here it is. <laughs> and I think it's just a very fun piece. So yeah, I, I can't. Smurf is very much moved, isn't it? <laughs> Are you sure you want to ask me that question? I've been very <laughs> busy this last uh, 10 days. Oh, let me have a think. Um, I've been to Oman in the Middle East uh, to check on site progress there. Um, yeah, fantastic. I was going there to check on architectural details, um, just making sure they're implemented correctly. Uh, reflective ceiling plans, that's like lighting layouts like what you see in here. Uh, meeting with joiners, builders, very, very busy. It was like a 24 hour thing. Um, alongside that, um, we have installed a project in London. It was a 14,000 square foot house. So I was there for three and a half weeks with my colleagues installing that one. And we were just like blown away with that one. We, that was a milestone, like it was a, a fantastic project. Here today with Vanessa uh, in this incredible house. Absolutely love it. It's got such a cool twist to this property. It's very edgy and it's very cool. So um, I'm glad to be here and be of assistance. Um, what Has else? your 2022 been so far? Um, I don't remember it happening. I don't remember <laughs> how are we 2022. Not really sure to be honest. Uh, but a whirlwind, fantastic. 
Um, love my job, so every every day just whizzes past every week, and we're, we're you know we're almost April already. So busy, busy, but love it. It's all like good. a time machine, isn't it? Actually, I say that to Sophie all the time. I'm yeah. like, I swear we, have, we we work in a time machine. Definitely, 100%. <laughs> so yeah, I'm with you on that one. We're now in the master bedroom, a very exciting space. Um, kind of the beginning inspiration were these chinoiserie panels that the client loved in a green. And there's kind of a smoky purple undertone to some of the flowers. So that's what I kind of pulled out to bring as the accent color in the space. Um, so we've done kind of a mauve headboard, very, very tall. Um, and then in the Roman blinds, we've got this almost trellis purple uh, detail. And then in this gorgeous, gorgeous Murano glass chandelier, we've done kind of an eggplant shade. Once the cushions are made and, and put in, then uh, those also have some of that purple in. But for now, what we can show you is this kind of very cool custom rise and fall TV um, unit. So it's been upholstered in, um, it kind of has a textured stamped leather and then the TV comes up and down here so you can watch TV while you're lying in bed, which the dream. <laughs> <laughs> to pick up on the green in the chinoiserie panels, we wanted to bring do some green joinery. So this will actually be his closet um, and we've done an amazing kind of antiqued mirrored glass and this is kind of almost the walkway into the master bathroom, which I'm very excited about. We've used an incredible marble in here that just kind of is a star of the show. We've done this amazing custom um, kind of glass shower screen and nice big shower. What, what this bathroom was before was a completely different layout and it was really cramped. And so we've been able to kind of change the layout and just have a much more usable space. Um, we've kept this amazing where the bathroom was right underneath the window. And then you've got a whole wall of um, you know, storage, vanity. These are gonna be mirrored um, with just, again, all shelves inside. So you can just have a ton of room for all your beauty products. And yeah, it's just a very, kind of the brief for the space was she loves hotel bathrooms. So she wanted to bring that kind of luxury into her home and I think I'm pretty sure we've achieved it. <laughs> this is our client's daughter's bedroom and we love how it's turned out. Again, the brief was leopard print wallpaper and a lot of pink and orange. So I think we've delivered. Um, we, the client wanted a canopy bed, but due to the ceiling height, we decided to switch it up. And instead we've made these beautiful curtains with a little pom-pom detailing um, that she can, her daughter can close and kind of have a separate little play area. And it just makes the space feel a lot cozier. Um, and in here, we've done these amazing window treatments. So it's kind of got the gray from the wallpaper and then the accent colors are kind of an orangey pink and a lighter pink that we've picked up in these curtain panels as well as the headboard, um, which is just so much fun. And we've got this amazing storage ottoman that is pink inside because, you know, it's all about the detail. <laughs> and we've done a nice integrated desk here for her to do her homework and she can really kind of grow up with the space. So yeah, I'm very excited. Nessa, talk to me about this wallpaper. I'm loving this. This wallpaper, it's definitely not for everyone, but if you love it, then you love it. And it is um, a cheetah print colon sun paper. And I think it's just so much fun. Um, this is kind of like, if I was a little girl, this would be my fantasy. So <laughs> it was very exciting to bring it to life. Um, and we're really excited to see what she thinks. We've got this beautiful light above as well. Mm -hmm. I really love this detail. Yeah, just really youthful and playful and fun. And I think we've achieved that. So very happy with the space. We're in London today and we're in one of my favourite parts of London in Chelsea. We've got a few projects in this borough and it's one of my absolute favourite places because there's so many beautiful buildings and so much history. We've just parked the car and we're outside this church which if you loved four weddings and a funeral you might recognise. This is where all the um, actors came to film the, I don't know if it, I think it was a wedding scene in this church. So every time I pass this I always think of four weddings and a funeral. 
And now we're gonna walk down the street because I've just seen uh, Manolo Blahnik, so that's actually my first stop. Always need to get more shoes. <laughs> <laughs> He's beautiful. That one's gorgeous. My feet are just sort of screaming at me, don't buy them. <laughs> Love these. So we are in Manlo Blahnik. This is very dangerous. We have a project just around the corner. Um, so I really should not have parked on this road because it's going to lead to some purchases. Hey Vanessa, how are you? It's looking great. The fluting turned out so nicely as well. Yeah. And the island. The drama we had over this marble. <laughs> <laughs> Went through like seven slabs. Seven slabs. We kept finding slabs, selling them to the client, and then by the time we heard back and she'd approved it, the slab had gone. And then we got other slabs and they were just crazy expensive. So this was the one that was meant to be. And it's one of the last slabs from yeah. the quarry, so And the lights are gorgeous. They weren't cheap, were they? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was also really nervous about the height because this is the like very highest they can go. But yeah, I'm, I think it's perfect. Yeah, me yeah. too. But when I was measuring it, I was like, <laughs> I think also because it goes wider yeah. here, and I was like, oh my god, this is going to be And I'm like, I know how much it costs. This is cute. I love the mirror as well. Yeah, it weighs like, I don't even know how much. It's all cast brass. Yeah. I mean, the space planning here is so oh. good. The, the deep draw, that's nice. <laughs> wow. So beautiful. What a view to wake up to. I love the handle detail as well. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. Anyway, it's nice that she's got some um, pieces that have meaning to her. And then this mid century chair, that's one of her grandmother's old chairs. I think that was her grandfather's desk. It's got a really nice mix of eclectic styles. Definitely this is a good project that shows that we can cater to different styles because you don't see many projects like this on our portfolio, but it was a really nice challenge for us to do something different and just totally take inspiration from the client's personal taste. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also check us out on Instagram at Sophie Patterson Interiors. You can also go check out our website. Uh, we recently updated it. It's sophiepattersoninteriors.com. See you in the next one.